Uh, Keldon Johnson will not play. Trey Jones, backup point guard. It is Holmgren and Wembenyama. They tip it up, and it is the Thunder who control the opening tip. Lou Dort at the controls with Wembenyama on him. All these great designs on the floor, on the floors around the NBA for the in-season tournament. Gives it an interesting look as Giddy goes strong, and that's how the night begins. Well, a great young team, much like Oklahoma City has done with their group. Oklahoma City into the play in last year. That is blocked by Holmgren, but finished. Zach Collins was there for it. Clears away the rebound. Spurs are three and seven coming in. They've lost five in a row. Sohan lays it in. Engage a little earlier. He's had great finishes. Goes behind the back here. Oh, little sidestep and a jam by Wimbanyama. Right from the catch. Sohan. And he buries the three. Third giveaway for Oklahoma City in the early going. The cell looking for some space up and over Holmgren. There's Wimbanyama and a couple of offensive rebounds in the putback. So he's active early tonight. Is a small team and they have struggled mightily on the defensive boards. Good pass, good finish. Kitty set him up beautifully. Williams with the dunk. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. He's taken just one shot. And Gilgis Alexander pulls the string on Champagny. One of the great... Out that OKC goes to their 1-2-2 zone. They find Collins open underneath. Gilgis Alexander starting to put some roots down now. Thunder a year ago. Create turnovers and score points off of them. Not as much this year, but Shea Gilgis Alexander, who we saw get the steal. Unit with no Trey Jones tonight. Late clock here. Sohan finds Branham. Steps inside the line. Little mid range jumper is good. Outstanding. With a lot more strength there. Both very lean, very thin, tall players. But Chet Holmgren is adapting well to NBA life. With some of the bench players. Gildas Alexander finds the backboard, lays it in. Has his first basket of the season. And he shot 37% from three last year, but as we've said, this is Thunder basketball. Seventh steal of the night already. On the finish on that. Williams changes direction. One of his signature moves. The Spurs were there for him. To his defense that the paint is king. <laughs> Here's Holmgren for three, and he hits one. Gonzaga on Gonzaga right there. They matched up in the preseason as well this year. Sham Penny drills a three ball. Well, City great by ball. four, second quarter action here. In-season tournament play, and another Spurs turnover. Look it up, top for Kenrich Williams. Well, that's eight steals. With this back injury, couldn't lift up kids, had trouble doing normal activities, but now is fired up to be back. He's considered one of the true glue guys and team leaders. You know, guys you've played with your whole life, it's just a different area code you're passing the ball to as Vassell steps into one. Nice looking stroke. Covers so much ground. It's a shock to the system to see it for the first time. Nobody's going to block that one. It's a smooth stroke. And Wimbanyama. No, I'm going to bet most of these guys have never played with a 7-4 guy before. <laughs> Here's Jalen Williams, and he rattles one in. On the floor. Missed the first five games. This is his sixth game back. Here's Vassell driving. Runs into a wall in Wallace. Side looking for a cut. Gets one from Williams. Oh, he is met at the rim. Wills. So Vassell at the controls here. Four to go in this first half. Vassell, three-pointer is good. He can get it cooking. And they're looking for the hot hand in Vassell. Vassell feeling it right now. Wow. Vassell's got 11 here in this first half. Giddy sets up Dort. A breakdown for the Spurs defensively. And an easy lay had a big improvement last year. They won 16 more games inside. And Gilgis Alexander add to it. Three-pointer no good. And a bouncing rebound to Gilgis Alexander who drives it, leaves it, and Williams scores.
Well, Wimbanyama ran out. Rarely, I can't even remember one. Wimbanyama up top. The pass was too low. Got to go higher with the 7 4 guy. Giddy, fake pass, then gives it up for Holmgren. And fights for the board. That was a great pass out of the post. Giddy. Wimbanyama. Giddy attacks and lays it in. He was a difference maker in the second quarter. In total points. Third in field goal percentage, second in three-point percentage, and Gilgis Alexander takes advantage of another Spurs turnover. Williams to Gilgis Alexander. What a combo they are. Each went for 30-plus against the Suns, and Gilgis Alexander with 19 now. He's making what he gets, and that makes him a bigger threat. 39% three-point shooter. And Josh Giddy, little runner. Giddy with the head up. Looking for Dort. Giddy gets it right back. Playmaking. Holmgren throws it down. Giddy's got another dime. Vassell. Dort may have disrupted that shot from behind. And now Giddy running the floor and lays it in. Yeah, if he can't grab it, he usually gives his teammates a chance. It's Gilgis Alexander. Saucy. Spurs in this third quarter with five turnovers, just four made field goals. Isaiah Joe, free spaces inside and the dunk. And Guarded by Vassell. Double team comes. Here's Isaiah Joe for three. Isaiah oh. Joe's been one of the best three points. Thunder have not won a game in this in season tournament. They're 0 oh, 2. Must win tonight if they want to stay alive. Gildas Alexander with 24 points now. Sprinting down the floor and he gets a steal and it's another Spurs turnover. And in transition, Giddy on a feed. By the NBA and I think as people get used to it, they'll start to enjoy it. Shea Gilgis Alexander, how does he do it? As much as the attention tonight is on Chet Holmgren versus Victor Wembanyama, that SGA is the next in what has become a long line. The ability to create near max cap space in the summer of 2024. Now, with all of that said, what excites people within the front Thunder front office the most? To finish the half, Micic knifes his way in, and he leaves it for Williams, the guy who protected him. For San Antonio, they were looking for Wembanyama. Holmgren spins off Collins. Block from behind. Wimbanyama got him. And now Joe able to force the turnover. Wimbanyama's down. Williams lays it in. Now the three-pointer is good. Lindy Waters. How they play. They are an active, disruptive defensive team and create offense off their defense, and we've seen it tonight. In free throw shooting, and Mark Dignall said something interesting today to us because their rebounding numbers are poor. That's the one area. It's another three falls for Lindy Waters. Spurs got off to a 3-2 and two start, had back-to-back -back wins against the Suns on the road. We had one of those games as Champagny hits a three. Experience here for Victor Wimbanyama. But uh, they are getting exposed here tonight, especially with the ball handling. It's another three-pointer. Well, I mean, the problem of not having your guards and Keldon Johnson is out. When you're a young team like this, you don't have a lot of margin for it. Another West Coast road trip coming up for Oklahoma City. Spurs are going to drop to 3-8. and eight, Six straight losses. As we get to the finish line, Shea Gilgis-Alexander with 28 points.